Hey everyone, today I watched a nice video about capturing the sound of a cabinet or of an amp simulator or something like that and then using the impulse response in a convolution plugin to simulate that. That reminds me of a thing that I always did some years ago, so I decided to make a video about that. So imagine the following situation, you have a beat, maybe it sounds like this. <laughs> And there is uh, this drum break down here. And then you want to have a fill in there somewhere and it sounds like that. And the fill in doesn't sound like the original break at all. It sounds very different. It even has some slightly different instruments in it like a tambourine, but you mostly just want to capture the, the sound of the initial break and basically transfer it to the other break. What you could do then is you could open an instance of Pro-Q2 or 3, sidechain root break A into the instance of Pro-Q. Then you could set up a loop where both drums are playing at the same time and then use the EQMatch function to match the two sounds together. <laughs> And now you can already hear that it's pretty much the same sound because now they are sort of masking each other by being played at the same time. So now you can put away the original drums and just listen to how this transitions. <laughs> It transitions quite nicely. Maybe I could even do this and then transitions even better. So there you have it, you can just use the EQ match function in Pro-Q or in that Melder plugin that you've seen in the other video if you've also watched it or any other plugin that can capture the spectral information of different tracks, compare it with each other and then spit out a different curve like Pro-Q does. And then you can just match multiple drum breaks together. Yeah, so I just decided to make this video so that you know that this technique is not just for guitar cabinets. You can actually use that on percussive material and probably a lot more that I didn't even think of yet. So I want you to go out now and just experiment with EQ matching and just try to find out what is possible with that. What kind of signals can you actually EQ match with each other and at what point will it break and in which way will it break? Will it break in a cool way that's like a science in itself and still very underexplored by music producer YouTube so yeah let's go